Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hey everybody, Son of Beast here. Welcome to a second game of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs. Now we're ready to take you on to Philadelphia as the Flyers take on against the Hurricanes for the second game of the third game in the series of the first round of the NHL. You may have expected it already, but this one keeps on coming down because they know they are definitely fighting it for a longer attacking range and this may not be the only way that you will all be looking it for because of this point. They've been crushing it out. No, no joke, because this happens to be one of them that the Kings already been knocking two games out of here at our home against the Flyers. They've done their well out there ahead. With their full pursuit, I can't believe it how they've done it, because this was an excellent game that they have already finished it off with its completion, and they definitely done so many times. No even joke, but that one really had turned it all. But for now, will the Flyers get a win and get on the board to start things off here in Philadelphia of Pennsylvania. We'll see what we do because you may never know what comes in if there's a never change off under way. Now for the next commentary on the board I will have is Boomer along with the other commentators of the two as will be test two and finally we have it here on the center ice that's what all calls it for. You know the fact of it. It's Fall Point Pen. I'll be back with the post game show right after this game, so that will be the next one on Pride. Guys, all yours. Enjoy the second game of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs. This is Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Boomer here, along with my commentating broadcasting partner with Test Two and Paul Point Pen and Center. This is the Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Let the games begin. The starting goaltenders in between of Urson and, of course, Kuchikov. We start things up on the board as Teravainen will have that puck. Starting right here is Farby, and he will have his own time. From the wing, he shoots! Kochakov makes a first save. Starting on this appearance, it's going to be all for anybody for Kochakov to be like one of you know. The better of it is a tribal that you can play for. Now for the win for the Flyers, he misses over to say hi. The pass, shot is saved here by Kochakov. Jeremiah covers up the board and now this will be rebounded here by Slavin. Slavin goes down. Atkinson with the puck, now finds again, with the shot, this one's been knocked out, but the save puts in for Kuchikov. Rolling in back in again, as now Burns will have it. He went down on a payback for him. Atkinson with the puck, and now gives off to York. York, backing the step of the Atkinson shot, what a save by Kuchikov. Now finding York, it's blocked the shot. Tip it. It's blocked away as the full pressure's on for the Villa Flyers. Walker, get the Frost. Went behind the net and it went too soon. Beckus with the puck. Now finding over again the bunting. But in trying to attack the wall. To clear out, Bunting's got the puck. He went down with that hit. Walker trying to clear the puck out of here. Now finding again a half away. Halfway moves it along in the center. With the shot, it's saved up by Kochikov. Skaji will have it over. Now finding Drury. Drury trying to battle it along the board. Near the blue line, it's taken away by halfway, and it's Foley with the puck. Trying to make his way down. Trying to make it past the Katasha. Put a rebound in, and it's taken away by the stall. That one's going to be a hard one to take all over it because that one was shot is not going to get too close at it. They really are starting to go a lot of hard in the pressure tape. They need some, a lot of some uh, helping to instruct you. They need to find someone else that they can get there through. Just saying facts if they can. And a save was up by Kuchikov. 
kicks the puck out. Stahl's got that puck here and the center ice. The Flyers will have the puck and now Walker will have it. 15 minutes start by in the first period and this one's bumped out. Here's Brink. Brink with the shot. What a save by Kuchikov. That was pretty excellent on that one occasionally. That must have been happening to make their first appearance with the goal to make the stop. You know, I was expecting what Kuchikov was doing and that one puts a lot of a save to put in there right between the legs. That was pretty close on the call. Still a lot of time in this period. No goals remain here for the Philly Flyers and Carolina Hurricanes. Philly wins it. And another save puts up by Kuchikov. Orlov gives it over to Karkenemy. Fast has it now. Fast tries to make his way down and toward the middle. To take the shot. Save here by Ursen. Ursen's going to hold it on with only 14.05 to go in the first period of the game. We've always seen it before. If you always have never seen it, the Flyers made their way to the playoffs. They finally made this way in. It's kind of hard when they are doing this because this one's not very easy of taking its time in. Well, you know that that happened with the Flyers. They were really hard enough to do this. Every game they need to win, they've done their best. A lot of the competitions out there. I mean, it's not always the same thing if you can always go up the imaginary to get that one off. And there might be one way that can try to like, let them go. You may never know what's going to get there if it comes up next. The save puts up by Ursin. Bolger now finds again and Deuce Lawrence. Now Lapton's got that puck. Trying to take his inbound and Coach Akoff takes a blunt save. We're under 13 minutes remaining in the first period. No goal again. Now they're ready to do an hour face-off. Still no score in the game. They only have zeros. Carolina wins the face-off as Chapfield will have it over. Now give again to Teravainen. Teravainen sliding it in down. With the shot and Ursin gloves a save. They're battling along the boards. He's got your call trying to battle it in. And lapton has got that puck. Now finally get the Farby. Farby moves his way down in towards the left wing. Spins around. First shot. What a save here by Kochikov. Ajo's got that puck. The C and I will take a look over to Orlov. A deep pass to Terravina. Right toward the right way. To the slide. What a save. What's in for Ursin. Now back again to Farby, and now Lafton will have it. Gives it back to Zeeler, and now again to Forster. Forster on a one-on-one -on -one break, and a suck made by the goaltender. You know, that's pretty clear in that play, because Kuchikov has really been going over with a hard save. You might get a lot of the timing technique if you get there far. I know he's been really doing really good. Without Anderson and Ranta, I mean, definitely give them a break for sure. It may not be easy enough, but you ain't always, you ain't never need them. Marmot starts it off, and a save, he puts it in the earth set. Nearing a midway mark of the period, still no goal in the game. With the win, here's Press. With a shot, and saved by Urset. He'll put it up another one with a big save as they're ready for another face-off on its way. Now they're ready to take some time here in the Philly zone. Ready for another face-off. Ajo wins the face-off and Best will have it. The cut inbound, trying to deflect it in there, but it's stopped again by Ursin. Philadelphia back in the offensive zone as Atkinson will have it. Atkinson trying to move inside with the shot. It's blocked. Re recovered it by Atkinson. Takes the shot inside. Oh, that's a goaltender makes a stop. Sketchy takes it over to Jarvis. Jarvis on his way down. Give the pass to Stahl. That one gets knocked over. I almost went and had it. And there's an error put up for the Flyers. Not always what you wanted to do. That one's going to be a takeout. I think Nick Sealer must have had that one. Well, because what the blade is, it just happened to be hitting his own stick. But then that blade must have put it over it, and that one was a big failure. 
that one's going to take off to a worse for a start in the first period. Flyers wins the face off. York has that puck. Trying to take it over. So the kind of shot is saved by Kochikov. We pass the mid midway mark of the period. It's still a one nothing game of Carolina. We have to have it now as Jacob Slavin has a shutdown ability. He makes it all as this defensive work and a settling of his skill. He makes that one a hard one to take all this chance. The ability is to pressure at rise and take the lockdown defensive and take over from in between the offenders and for the cut and balance in between. The hard one is to take it over. Let's find out if Jacob Slavin has that one shut down. Jarvis can hold on with the puck. Halfway's got it now, and the Philadelphia Flyers will have it. Trying to move inside the middle shot, and a save puts out by Korchakov. Battling along for the loose puck. Sam Hines got it. Jarvis got that puck. On his way down, trying to look for some more room. Shoots, and saved by Urson. Jarvis trying to hold on. Now in the puck inbound. Drury. And toward the middle, and a save puts in for Urson. York's got it now. Trying to move his way down right to the other slot. To take the back pass shot, what a save by Kuchikov. And he's going to hold it with just under eight minutes. A lot of time left in this period. Still Flyers trailing by one as Carolina has won. Burns gives off to Nekis. Nekis trying to work his way in, right toward the middle. The slot won't help. Sam Hines got it now, again to Forster. Forster working his way down to the, the middle, and that one was rebounded and stopped again by Kurchikov. York tries to get a Sam Hines shot. That one wide. Burns got the puck. Now has it again to Nekis. Toward the middle, that shot goes wide. Slavin gives a Drury shot. Where defenders stop here, and this one go back again to Farley. You know, an awesome effort is putting him into a tightness on a range. I know there's a lot of great uh, battling for the spit spot to, to take the lift out of it. It's just really hard to like try to keep that one eye sighting. But it's just okay when you do that one on your own. I mean, try to give it up on your on your shot whenever you can get there. It's a hard one, you get that. It's staying done. A lot of time left in this period frame. Flyers still trailing. Carolina up one. Uncle wins the face up and now again the best. Terminan's got that putt. Trying to hold on to it. Right towards again, the special call. Good stick lift here for Walker. Ross gets the tip it. Tip it to get the first shot. And a save puts up by Kuchikov. Skeji takes his way down right toward the right wing. Jeremiah shot. What a blocker stop made. Jeremiah shot made a save here by Urson. Frost has it back on the other side. Trying to look for some uh, open gap in the middle. Sebastianago takes the puck steal. Sechikov fires the puck around the net. The Flyers are back into the offense now. Zeeler will to give the diagonal over to Frost. 3.45 left to go in the first period. They need to get this one tied up. The Suarez trying to hold on, and the puck is knocked loose, and it clears out of the own end. Now the pass to Brink. Looks it open to Couture. Oh, and he went down that hard. That one will stop the, the player in bounding ball in for the defensive set. Sebastian Ajo. Trying to hold on a special cost shot. What a save put in there. And the two-time set made by Ursay. You know, it's a hard one that's gonna like keep an eye on it. You may never know what's gonna be like it's it's a big on tape. That successful range is gonna keep on living it up again. Got Kennedy with the puck in the wing. Let us stop blocker. What a dying release for Ursa. Oh, Ursa's doing really well. I mean, he saw that one coming. Come here, you. You know, when sometimes happens, you know Urson just made that one with the great save. That's what he was trying to go and do. You can't let that one go stop it in there if you're trying to go up with the save in the early range. That one's going to keep an eye on it on the other side of a rink. That one's going to be a hard one for the Flyers to try to pick up the stop. 
Now the win for the Hurricanes. He went down. Here's Nozick. Buck stiffed and lifted here as Stahl will have it back. And Forster has it goal. Slavin's got that buck. Dumps out to the own end in the Flyers territory. Stahl now gets to Forster. Forster on his way down with passing 90 seconds in the mark. He tries to go in there with a shot and it's blocked. Chester Fast got that buck here, trying to hold on. Burns got it. Nearing a final minute in the period, it's the 1 0 lead for Carolina. And a save by Urson. Official game would set here on ice. It is still a 1 0 lead for Carolina. The one puts in as Zamula will have it up. Flyers looking for Lafton. Lafton. He went down. No penalty called on Carolina. Well, they're really clean already. I mean, I don't know what's going on with them. They were really were trying to mess them up. And this is nowhere on luck of them. They can't let that one leave off their open feet off. And they can't let that one go in. What a save by Kuchikov. 5.2 seconds in the first period. Still a 1 0 lead for Carolina. Carolina wins the faceoff. And Bunting loses the puck, and that will end the first period here. Tight game here. Carolina up by one with an error put up here for Wiesler. And this one will turn things over. We'll get right to the second period when we come back after the break. On now to the second period of the game. Still a 1 0 lead as Carolina's up by one. And here we go, we're off to start for the second period of the game. This was kind of a close game, but let's have your take for you, Test Two, for the recap of the first period. They really got to fire their way out. Flyers got to get that one back in there, and they really need to get this one scored back in there as they can. They have nowhere to protect right now, and this is not going to happen with most of the concerns, and they can't let that one get right into it. If they have nowhere else to go, then it's going to be a hard timing to get that one out in there for sure. He scores! Tebow Terabine does it for his next part of his playoff game. They now extend it to a I love the cut and bound for Tebow Terramine. He made up a backhand, he is like a pressure. After you put up for the third eye for Sebastian Ago, then this is what happens. Tebow Terramine just made up with a backhand, shuffle of motion, and he just got a goal. As a great goal comes in for the Flyers, because they still didn't have a goal, it's a 2 0 lead for Carolina. Now the win for Sebastian Ago as Burns will have it again to Terramine. Ago trying to hold it off from right here. Here's Ago, and it's up and over the net. Carby again to Lofton. Lofton finding his way down. Trying to look inside. On the attack, Lofton's got it. Trying to pick up a shot. Rebound by Farby. Oh, what a great save here by Kuchikov. Now, Kuchikov was really trying to get this one flying in by. I don't know what you can definitely do for him, but it's not going to be easy enough to like try to like stop a bound. Not a win for the Hurricanes. Skeggy gives the press. Try to give off the bunt tape. Bunning on his way down with a shot and save puts in for Orson. Oh man, well, the Hurricanes are definitely fighting on its way down. I think the Storm is about to beat the Flyers if they win again. Well, I don't know about that. I would say the Flyers need something, need some special team players, and they, they need to find somebody else now. They gotta look for someone else to get there. The save puts up by Orson. But it fires! Shot saved here by Orson. Now there's the full pressure. Here they go now. I can see to tip it. Their team's still alive. Like this with the puck. Trying to hold up. And the shot! What a save by Ursin. We're just coming down to under 17 minutes to remain in the, for, in the second period. Now they will do it on one again. Now 
Now the win puts in. On the pass shot, and a save puts in for Ursic. Right behind the wall, and Gutez will have it back. Works his way across, battling along the buck range. York tries to hold on. Bunnings got that puck. Across the line from the center of the left. Trying to hold on to it. Jury shot. Had save. Two times stop. Bunny again to Nekis. And it's half away with the puck. Half away. Try to roll it inside. Right toward the middle. He went down. Gutez with the puck. On the shot in corner. And it's denied by Kochikov. That Kochikov is really going over it again. I'm thinking he's going to like try to like keep that one out. Let's see what happens. The rim puts in for Carolina. Try to battle it across. What a takedown here by Bulling. Because gives it to Sealer. Sealer shot and saved by Kruchikov. Now this one will stop here with just under 15.30 to go in the second period. They're still ready to take some never time here for the faceoff. It's still a 2-0 game in arcades. And this one goes off to Walker. Walker lost that one here as Sketchy will have that puck. Oh, that was going to be a big takedown over there. Fans just saw that rumble crowd making some noise and pleasure. This one has really been going over into it there. Yeah, I know. I mean, they really are going to battle it again. The Flyers in the high street and, of course, the Hurricanes, they definitely are going to get that one beaten down. They were just going crazy enough for sure. Wow. Jeremiah did. Buck lost that one. Walker's got the puck and now find Lockton. Lockton on his way down right toward the right wing. On a shot. This one's deflected off the defender. Locked it. Give to Forster. Try to hold on with the puck, but can't hold on. Avo's got the puck. Toward the right wing. In the middle, this shot saved here by Ursic. Sennheim now gives it to Atkinson. Try to roll it in between. Atkinson trying to look over. And Roloff's got that puck. He stopped that one here, and this time it's York with the puck. Atkinson trying to hold on with it right from here. Taking the puck out of here as Frost will have it back to Sennheim. Sennheim give it again to Atkinson. Atkinson trying to give off the tip it. He will run aside and the save puts it in by Kuchikov. Now here's uh, Martin Look. He will fire it out into the Flyers territory. Behind the net is Sennheim. Now he has it over again to Frost. Frost swings again to York. Gives again to tip it. Tip it. Look again. Burns takes a steal. Jarvis with the puck. Try to roll his way down in again to Marino. On the shot. Pat saved here by Ursin. Atkinson try to hold it right from the right wing. They fire the shot. And a save put it in, in the other side by the goaltender. Now that was maybe called for that one here as Atkinson just really didn't notice that he was trying to get this one and stop it inbound. Lots of time left in this period. It is still a 2-0 game, trying to look it up in and get back into work. Now with the win, here's Burns. He tries to look it over. Neck is with the puck. Shot! Stop here by Ursin. Neck is gives the bunning and he's bolted on! Oh, what a save here in play. As the game moves on, it's still a 2-0 lead, ready for a face-off. Now the win puts in for the Hong Kings, is now Slavin will have it. Good stop here by Ursin. You know, that's what it always can care for now, because that's what Ursin is trying to do. Trying to get the puck out of the side. And if Zamula has that one recovered, he's got to get that one close in by. Because can't hold on with the puck as Burns will have it. With under 10 minutes remaining in the midway mark, Drury has that. Zamula can't hold on. Zamula tried to get it back in the airway. Gives it again to Poy. Pulling right toward the right wing and he now he finds it look over again to Katanz. Katanz can't hold on. Sketchy with the puck. Now finding Ago on the other side. This one gets cuffed up and good takedown by Zilo. Katanz 
gives a pass to Halfway. Halfway right towards the right wing. Try to look inside with a shot and saved up by Kuchikov. He's going to hold it for the whistle here with only 8.37 to go in the second period of the game. Now they're ready to do an hour one here. Ready for a face-off and get right to work. Carolina will win another face-off as Fetchikov will have it. 8.30 left to go in the second period in the game. And it's off the glove here by Ursic. Walker. Try to work his way down here, trying to look for another room opener. Looks his way down, right toward the middle. Spins around. Looks again. Fetchikov takes a steal. He's all alone right now. On the full breakaway. What a save by Ursic. Oh, that's when you always saw that one coming. That's Fetchikov had that bad timing already. But that was really close enough here, right? You can't let that one guard you down. You don't want to make him feel like you're uncomfortable for again. Now back to Farby. That was blocked a shot. Farby tries to give it again to York. On his way, pressure, and a save here by Fetchikov. Farby. On the backhander, can't look for an open look. Marduk's got that puck. Into the wing. Jarvis shot. And a save puts up by Urson. That puck will lift it up and over the net and it will go out of play. So one of the games here is going to be coming in here right in between the zone and time. But why time? Well, timing is just a lot of the hard one to maintain it for sure. It's not always easy when you try to make that one settle in and bound. When you have a hard pickup in play, you have to make sure you're all settled in and get ready. Because that is a hard one that they can't let that one get food right over. They need to find somebody to get in there. Oh, that was too close. It hit the goalpost and it went behind the goaltender and he just made a stop. I just don't know what happened here. That was really close, but that one stayed out of the net. I don't believe it how that one happened. That was like a very close call. If that one would go in there, they would have that goal right away. You screw it with the puck. Right toward the right wing, and he now finds another to put in. He goes down. Tippett's got that puck, now find Frost. Frost finding his way down. Right toward the center. And this one has almost been knocking in there. Pass gets again to Drury. Drury now finding his way down. Here's Emilon. He will have his own time. In toward the right wing, trying to look for open room. On the horse, Frost with the shot. Saved here by Kuchikov. They'll give some a little bit more time here, and they will be ready to get to another face-off on its way. So a lot of time left to remain in the period. Carolina is one of the favorite teams, still have a 2-0 lead over Philadelphia. Battling for a puck chain on the board. Halfway's got that puck. Here's a contest shot, and saved off again, and it's off the defender. Svechikov's got it now, right toward the left wing. With the shot, close saved by Ursic. We're under four minutes remaining. If you're looking forward with your next game, we've got you covered here with the number new number matchup for game three of day two. As we take you over to the to the Western Conference, we start things off here on the board. As you will have that one first right underway with the Jets and the Avalanche at Canada's Life Century. Following along with the next game for the Eastern Conference, as we have that one on the other side here for you. This will be the Bruins and the Capitals at Capital One Arena. Following along with that, tonight's game will be the Rangers versus the Tampa Bay Bolts at Amalia Arena in Tampa Bay, Florida. And finally, is the Edmonton Oilers facing against the Golden Knights at T-Mobile Arena. Catch all games year-round only on Summer Beats. Now here's Halfway. Tries to let them go. Halfway trying to get middle of the scores! What a shot by the end, and they are now on the board before the period comes down to the end. It's now a 2 1 game in the third game. Well, that's what Garnet Hathaway does. He rip rocketed it, and that was where it took in. When he went right towards it, he just swatched and rippled it. He made that one shot into a motion roll. That switch off turned to be like it's great enough to get in there. What a shot! 
Now it's now a 2-1 game with under three minutes in the second period of the game. It's looked like they wanted to get a tie game in the series. Sebastian Ajo wins the faceoff and Slavin will have it over again to Svechica. Ajo gets to give it again and Stahl takes the puck. Halfway has that puck back. Looking inside, fine pulling. Pulling shot, he scores! What a shot made. Pulling is now tied his game in the third. That's what that one does because Pulling just made this one easy enough now to flip it and get it in. Well, that's what you call the goaltender is making that reaction in there. He's trying to reach it across here, but watch what Pulling does. He made that one just trying to skate across for it. Trying to pass against the Kochikov. Not easy to get there. That's what happens now. They made this one goal count and got through. Well, that's what happened here for Poland, and this was not even an offensive pace. It almost happened before because the path would give off the pulling, and that one made that flammable switching on its way. You know this happens because that connection key gives it all with his timing ability. He's doing really well, and hopefully we'll see how the lead puts up. Back to you. The puck leaves the zone into the Carolina territory. Slavin battling along with the puck. The Hurricanes back into the offense and Slavin gift again to Martinuk. Martinuk on a two-on-one on a drill. That shot gets chopped up and it goes back to York. York again to Forrester. He now has it over into Farby. Farby trying to work his way across to shoot again and it's not made here by Grudgekov. Saying I'm shot, saved again. Almost went in a gold net. Nearing a final minute in the second period as both teams are tied up. Slavin, right to the left wing, trying to look over again to stall. Shoots and saved off by Ursen. Forrester trying to hold on to it and now York will have it. York working his way through and he makes a fire shot and crush a cop with the save. Here's Nekis, back to Buddy. Buddy, will he take his time? He went down. And shot! What a save here by Erson, and that the time is up. Both teams are tied up, two and two. Next goal will take the lead when we come back after the break. You're watching the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. Be right with you shortly. Are you ready for the third period? It's that time. Both teams tied, we are underway. And here we go. The final period starts things off in Game 3 at Wells Fargo Center. While this was a close game this time, let's have your take for Test 2 on a second period recap. Well, they are really are monstering it down, and I must tell you this, but why? Because Hathaway was really putting up a goal. It was really like an excellent on his effort list. The motionless is a harmful way to put this inbound, but I'm going to tell you, if everything happens, you know that this will be the change off to lift off its score. I can definitely tell you now that Urson and his team has been really firing it up for so long. Ever game reasons, it may not be what you wanted, but hopefully on that one occasionally, it will be the hard one to stop him by. Carolina wins the faceoff. Battling for a loose puck as Slavin will have it again in such a cough. Now Burns will have it. Here's Argo, trying to make his own time. Beat the Carolina. Shot! Saved here by Ursa. Svechikov, their team's in full pressure range. What a big stop here by, by Ursa. Left in. Moves his way down. Out of the full pressure zone and in the middle. Shot and saved here by Svechikov. Corby takes his way down. Slavin's got that puck. Work his way down, trying to beat the puck out of him. Slam it. Give it again to Burns. Burns trying to hold on to it. And there you have a delay penalty called on Carolina. Well, there is going to be what they all say. I think that must be that the Flyers are going to have that one with the first penalty call. That's going to be a bad one to start off in the third period. And let's see what the call is. It's interference call as Atkinson's in the penalty box. Yeah, what well, the reaction must have been heard about that because Atkinson just didn't really think he was going to get this one time even straight. But that one turned to be a horrible day for him. 
and you know that was a bad call because he had that one pushed off. That referee must have known he got it right away. Sebastian Ajo has a third eye ability. He must maintain it, and he wants to get this one here with the goal at the over timing. His angle is not always what you are going for, but he will try to find out if he will have his power play goal to pick up back up in the lead. I'll find out if he has one to take his room edge. Back to you guys. Still a lot of time left in this period. It's still a tie game, 16.38 to go in the third period. Off to an away. Argo shot. Caught and ripped away here by Erson. We bring all you down with a new skill. It's the truth. All brings on with everything in between from the resort at the hotel and for Son of Beast along with Flower and the rest of the crew as we bring in for a new skill. And there's a score put in as they are now on the lead. Well, I think that tip in was not really what they were expecting. I think Sketchy must have had that one in there. That one bounced the puck off of the goaltender, and after he let give it up again, right over to Sketchy, he just took that puck in there and he just got that goal. That was pretty easy. Well, the flying and bounding is for Brady, Brady Sketchy, and he had that one right away with his goal. The timing is worthless, but it's not what you always do to try to pick up the puck in. And it's how you losing is not your ultimate idea. You don't lose that game, you don't lose that puck, you don't take it offensive anyway. But that one is pretty sketchy, he's got that one in there, and it's going to take all what he can do to keep back in. Fletcher Goss going to take that puck here with only 15.51 to go. As you already know before, the truth that this returns to the SOB skip, as this one will be all for everything with the coverage here for a real life scenario. This time, it goes with a new special guest, Werner Shell. And this one will be all the taming on who you will and who will happen to be of why this is going to be a true statement in between. That will be premiering on July 29th, only on Sun and Beats. Catch all you wrong ground by watching the playlist of the SLB skit on the playlist, or you can watch anytime here. Right in between the bows, in between the games, and for and for the skits that you watch anytime here by by screen recording it and making its way to do. Oh, almost made it in there, but that one stayed alive out there. So we you got that puck. Oh boy, is that one gonna go in there? I mean, I would never be seeing this one again, ever. Now the next one comes in for another faceoff. Three twos to score for Carolina. They're up ahead. Carolina wins the faceoff. What a stop made by Ursic. Walker gives it Atkinson. Atkinson will get his way down, right toward again the cross shot, and a save puts up by Kuchikov. What a stop made, and this one goes back to Drury on the other side. Pat it up here, now Walker will have it again to Carvey. Give it off to Lafton. Lafton give a back pass to Atkinson. Atkinson, oh, that is going to tumble, take down that one. Well, there's a cyclone out there, and that must have been a storm. That's going to pick up a heavy hit. You're never going to find that one out there if you're going to take him down to leave a mess over it. Here's Walker, as I know, he will have it over to Farby. Farby will get his way down. And he lost that puck, he will try to find, find another way to get through. Locked it. Gets a Forrester shot. Try to put up a rebound. And shot scores. Farby ties his game. He has 61 of his playoff game, and now they're looking to get a leadoff to get back in. 12 Farby made that one an easier luck. I know that was a hard one to take the forcing rebound, but that one turned to be a blind point blank range. That one stayed alive out there. You now got that feeling you've got a good goal beating against Kuchikov. Scott left in as a 26 of assist in the game, and now this one's tied up to be a back to back scores in between. And off they go, they're ready to do another face off as the Hurricanes will give it over to Suchikov. Shot! 
Patton up with the save here by Ursay. Here's an Arte. Bounce it off, goes down. Block the shot. Forster has got that one bucked in. Now finding again to Farby. Farby looking his way down. Burns takes it over again to slam it. And now finding again. Here's what you call. Gives it again to Taravainen. Taravainen working his way down. He scores! That's a rocket blast here to make the back end in. Tebow Taravainen has two goals. Looking for one last goal to get a hat trick. Well, what happened here is that he put a backhander, and there was two. Unfortunately, this backhander got really worth a lot, and that one must have gotten in right away beating against Ursen. That one's a takeover, and this one was nowhere to get in between from here. That one just put it back in front. And Jay Sveshikov has his another assist one in the S33. 12.06 remaining in the third period of the game. Now the Lord goes up with a walker, and now he has it over to get to Lapton. Lapton can hold on with the puck. Now Slavin will have it again. With a shot, this one gets knocked over with the bodies in the way, as Walker will have it again. Off to Farley. Farley. Over again, the goaltender. Burns takes the puck to steal. Making this way down. Burns, Charlie, get it through. No, this one stopped again. Sennheim's got that puck. Now finally again to Lafton. Lafton trying to work his way down to beat the shot. Oh, there's a roughing. That's going to be a charge here on Carolina. Yep, there you go. Jacob Slavin, that shutdown was a failure, and that one is going to leave him messy behind. Don't get over this there, Flyers. And he did wrong. That's a big bang. Yep, that's a hard one. They called it earlier. The Flyers will have their chance to take their power play goal to tie this game. Nearing the midway mark of the period, still a 4 3 game. And Stahl will win the faceoff. Chaffee will clear it out. And oh, he must have almost had that one. They hit right toward the mass. And Forster kneels down. Chaffee gives the game to catch. Now Jarvis will have that puck in here in the middle. Toward the right wing. He stops it inbound and Tippett will now give to Zemula. Pass the midway mark in the period of Zemula and lost that puck as Pest will have it. Clears the puck out of here. Here's Tippett. Give again to Frost. Now Farby will have it over again to Forster. Zemula give again to Frost. Frost trying to work his way down. Move around again to Tippett. Tippett lost that puck. Jarvis clears the puck out. Philadelphia back in the other side. Now Tippett will have it again to Katora. And a shot, and this one's pass is broken up again. Well, they gotta start making some more, more adjustments out there. They don't wanna leave him out. They can't let that one get away with it at all. Here's left it. And Katora can't hold on with the puck. Bet. Oh, what a take body slam down for Couture. And now Brink will have it. Brink again to Atkinson. Here's Brink's shot. Block the shot made. And that ends the period for the power play for the Flyers. They're back to even strength. Well, this really must have been maintaining it because if Ersing was really trying to save that puck, trying to cover it from here. But in that moment, I was really thinking of it. If the Flyers would have had that goal, they would have had that one to make the tie game in that one to go to overtime. But this was nowhere to get the range out of it, and they really won it all. Hit the goal post. Atkinson's got that puck. On a one-on-one -on -one pass break in between the legs, and a save puts up here by Kutcherbell. Burks, right toward the right wing. He goes down. Drew a shot. Saving bound. That one stayed out of the net. And Drewy has it again. What a stop made by Ursin. That was going to be a hard one to take, but don't leave that one uncountable if there is another one that you can try to leave out. Now with the win out, as right now, is, is Zeeler again to Katerz. Seven minutes going in the third period. Try to cut him out. Looks like a halfway shot, and the save puts in by Kuchikov. 
Burns got it now. Loses that puck. Beckus. Pass it over again to Slavin. Slavin looking his way down. Can't hold on with the puck. Pulling again to Gates. Gates trying to work his way through. On a shot, getting inbound. No, that one stayed out. Oh, Kuchikov got a good steep saving of this inbound. And this one keeps on going. He's on going down by Tara Bynan, and this one is off the glass. Off the defender's stick, and Zeeler will have it over. 5.30 left to go in the third. Looking to tie his game, and number one picks a save by the goaltender. There's a lot of great attackers that are just going over, and I really like the hustle for the Hurricanes. They really are battling it out, but I think the Flyers, they're really wanting to go with the full chain and pressure. Walker shot. This one's blocked the shot. Sechikov will have it over. Now finally get a Chatfield. Chatfield on his way on and right. Near in the slot. And a save picked up here by Ursin. Sealer. On his way down back to Farby. Farby trying to hold it inbound. And another big huge save by Kochikov. How did he hold on with that? Still a lot of time left in this period. Four and three is where we set. Such a cough as bringing your team back into the Canes to the Flyers territory. This one gets broken up to make a band. Said I'm trying to get back to York. York can't hold on with the puck. And here's Snekis with the puck. Makes his way through and the save puts him by Merced. On the outside, but only for the loose puck. And Farby has it. Here they come, right toward the wing. Farby to tie this game. This one's off the defender on the stick. He recovers. One timer. Oh, Kuchikov had that one saved again. Down to three minutes underneath. Lots of time left in this playing period. So, 4 3 game, it's a close period in the range. Now, Slavin will have it. Slavin working this way down will fire the puck out. York's got the puck. This deep pucking zone right again to Frost. Frost, right toward to get a tip in. On his way down, and a save puts in for the goaltender. Well, that frustration, that was pretty reaction out there. That was going to be like a hard timing to get that one through here. And I know that was going to be like a tricky setup to make. Here's Tippett. Tippett right toward the right wing. Off to and gets a shot and a save puts in for Kuchikov. We're down to a nearing the 90 second mark. He'll be bringing an extra skater on as he'll have to try to fix things up if there's another miss for the home games. Now for the win for the home games. Here's Skitchy. The puck back to Spetchikov. Teravine in. Try to work his way down with 120 left to go. Shot and saved by Ursay. Frost has got that puck. Flyers begin their group. Final minute remaining in the third period, and they're bringing an extra skater on for the Flyers. Man advantage is on. Atkinson trying to hold on to it. Trying to keep the puck out of here. Puck stays alive for Zeeler. Zeeler. Working his way through, now find Tippett. Tippett shot, what a save here by the goaltender. Lapton, lost that puck. Tebow Teravine in, will take it here. Empty net, block the shot by Walker. Last possession for the Flyers. They gotta score here, they gotta make it. Furby, Tippett shot, what a save here by Gutschikov. And Bunning will clear it out. And that's gonna do here. What a close game this is, and this one is done. Well, you know that bet sings off here as Kuchikov just wins it again. That's three in a row. He's been knocking it over in between, and hopefully he'll stay alive for the fourth game and advance. Well, that was a crazy game this was in between Carolina and Philadelphia. I enjoyed this one, too, and you should like it, too. With me, along with Test Tube and Ball Point Fan, this has been a presentation of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. 
Keep an eyes up for our next game here coming your way soon on Ed's Rock. And with that being said, is thanks for joining with us and have a great night. All right, thank you so much, dear Boomer. Time for three star players of the game. The third star we start things off with is all calling for nobody because there's no one else that was going to keep on going. But the second star gets the garden half away as he starts things off with the big. Korchakov got a third star of a piece. I, well, that was that. But the first, first star of the player goes to Tebow Teravainen with two goals and six hits. So, your third star, again, that was ultimately Kochakov that took it over, and then it was happened to be Sean Couture with that shot, and finally, the first star of the game goes out to Tebow Teravainen. Here's how he did with the total statistics. 55 over 53 for Carolina. 50 over 47 for Philadelphia on the hit. 637 over 616 for Philadelphia Flyers on the time on attack. 92 over 89 passing for Carolina. Then it was 35 over 14 for Carolina. Two minutes was regained in between for the both teams, but no power play goal for the Philadelphia Flyers, but only one for Carolina, with 22 seconds in the power play minute. Well, it looks like that the Hurricanes are definitely extending their lead series. It's now a 3-0 game. Man, they are just whiffing it up again. I'm thinking... Maybe going for him, never take on. So it looks like we'll have to wait until we come back to game four if they win or not for the Flyers. That will be the question and find out what goes in here. In the meantime, that should do for now. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports style. If you're all waiting in for the Nashville Predators and the Stars, it's underway next at 8.30 before the final game of the Canucks vs. the Kings at Crypto.com Arena, 10.30 p.m. Now let's get you covered here and take some a little bit of switch and we'll be right back to you soon. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. Next two games for tonight, underway in the Western Conference. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.